Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. A new report has found that lots of big Australian companies are guilty of something called price gouging. Here's Joe to explain. Hey, just this one, thanks. Sure. Um, I think I've forgotten my wallet. How did you get that? Have a nice day. If your wallet is a little light after a trip to the shops, then you're not alone. See, a new report from the Australian Council of Trades and Unions has exposed many big companies, from supermarkets to banks, energy providers and airlines, for exploiting their power and overcharging Aussies, which experts call price gouging. Australians are paying prices that are too high too often. The report says that a lack of competition means big companies have too much control and their rising prices have driven up inflation and the cost of living crisis. Rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. But the companies argue that they felt the inflation pinch too and they haven't been taking advantage of customers. Not only has the cost of living been rising, but the cost of doing business has been rising. The report reckons that the government needs to step in by giving the consumer watchdog, the ACCC, more power to investigate and even make it illegal to charge excessive prices to hopefully bring living pressures down and your wallet weight up. Ah, another day, another Taylor Swift story. This time, there are reports she's threatened to sue a college student in Florida for tracking her private jet. Jack Sweeney has been tracking celebrity air travel, including Taylor Swift's, to try to highlight the carbon footprint private jets leave. But Taylor's lawyers aren't impressed and have allegedly accused him of stalking and harassing behaviour, which could threaten her safety. But Jack and even some Swifties think it's a bit of an overreaction because the data he's using is legal and available to anyone in the public. Now to New Zealand, where a group of marine experts are going where few have ever gone before. Here's Ren. Yeah, a whole bunch of sea creatures are about to step into the limelight for the very first time. This is so exciting. I'm a star. <laughs> it's all thanks to a new marine mission. The goal? It's to try and accelerate the discovery of species in the deep sea. You see, there are thought to be millions of different species living in our oceans, but we've only scratched the surface of what's out there, with only about 10% thought to be already discovered. So Ocean Census, a marine research group, is setting out to change that. So we're going to a very underexplored area of New Zealand, um, which is called the Bounty Trough. But it's no easy task. Parts of these waters are as far as 5,000 metres deep, meaning ultra-special equipment is needed to discover what actually lies beneath the surface. We've got a deep-toed imaging system camera so we can take video and still footage of the animals on the seafloor and the habitats that we're seeing down there. They say it's really important these discoveries are made before our underwater ecosystem is too heavily disrupted by climate change. Who knows? Maybe soon this undiscovered little star will in fact be a star. Dogs playing sport, bugs with first names. It's all about to get a bit weird as we dive into the world of animals. First up to the 20th annual Puppy Bowl. Let the Puppy Bowl begin. Running alongside the regular Super Bowl in the US, the Puppy Bowl started off as a fun way to encourage people to adopt a dog, with 131 puppies from animal shelters all over the US taking part this year. And a huge block by Fluff Bullbark Meeting. Ooh, that was a rough takedown. <laughs> Now to some pretty epic photos of wildlife taken by people from around the world. These were all finalists in the UK's Wildlife Photographer of the Year Awards. But it was this pic showing a polar bear taking a nap on an iceberg which won people's choice. And finally, I hope you like roaches because the Bronx Zoo in New York is letting people name their Madagascan hissing cockroaches just in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs> what a treat. We see a lot of parents name roaches uh, for their kids because they love bugs. Since they started doing this 13 years ago, more than 54,000 bugs have been named. Well, that's all we've got time for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.